The right to be forgotten has been expanded by Google. Under EU law, I think it was originally a Spanish lawyer brought it about because there was some news stuff about him that was over two years old and was still getting found on the internet, which was affecting his business, so he took it to court, won the case, and then what basically happens is, in Spain, it'd be like Google.es, that information would be removed. But it wouldn't be removed on google.co.uk, google.com, etc. Because it was only initially the country you were residing in. Google has expanded that out. Now it is all of them. If you file a right to be forgotten from the UK, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, whatever. It will be carried out across all of Google's domains. Um, for me... Having an internet troll that writes nonsense, steals photos, etc., it is much easier to have a right to be forgotten than actually trying to deal with Google when it comes to copyright theft. E.g., when I've had uh, photos stolen uh, from family albums, uh, Facebook, my blog, etc., etc., and my internet troll uses and abuses them, Google go, can you prove their copyright of yours? And then when I put it forward saying it's this camera, they said da da da. Um, most of the time, Google is very difficult to remove those images. I've had some removed, but then my troll just moved to another domain. This like right to be forgotten is much easier to do. But also, this my internet troll actually turns around and says, "Oh no, I took that photo." He's an idiot, a liar, a thief. But anyway, from my point of view. This is a good thing because it'll help clean up some of the crap that a troll has done to me personally. But at the same time, I have concerns over censorship because if it's orchestrated and manipulated in a way that removes news, um, we could end up in a world where history disappears. Um, I've said this before about some of the news articles relating to the Philippines that I've gone back to them a few years later and they're not there anymore. I get the feeling this sort of trend would expand out globally if somebody can go, remove that from the media please, it's now a year and a half old and it's not in the public interest, da da da, right to be forgotten, and somebody that was arrested for something they did do will vanish from the internet forever. Or until they're caught again. But the the main thing here is the right to be forgotten is being expanded out. So before it was just your dot com, uh, not your dot com, your dot is yes, your dot co uk. Wherever you filed that case was only gonna affect there. It's now if it's filed as a um, right to be forgotten in any of those countries, it's now across Google's domains, all of them. And I believe this is from EU pressure. Alright, thanks for watching.